Hey guys. Michael, Brian, move out of the way. Convent is in the house. When I think about Danish powerhouses, these ladies, this is what I think about. So they have a new album. By the way, this is their new song, Grains, a music video song for their upcoming new album that comes out on my birthday. I don't think it's a surprise. I think this is their way of honoring my existence is by releasing a new record on the day that celebrates the birth of yours truly. So are you ready to dive head first into this yeah. video song? I'm ready. All right, so let's do it. <laughs> you had me at hello.
And now we know the name of the album, called Down the Sun. Just call it down and fucking throw it away. With this kind of music, there's no sun. There is no sun. Only more. <sighs> Can I go first? Yeah. Uh, I remember the first time we checked out this band on the channel was Puritan Masochism. And I think I made a comment about getting hit with dicks in the face in the front row. I'm not going to talk about dicks on this video, even though I just did. But uh, I'm going to try to be a little bit more classy. Uh, it's going to be really difficult. Yeah. And uh, I, I want to start off by saying that these vocals, these 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 vocals, I, I it sounds like she swallowed the mic and she's singing from her stomach. That's how how insane these vocals are. Because I. I I can imagine like the song starts with a mic here and then it finishes with a mic in your stomach yeah. because like the 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 power the 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 depth the spread that the vocals have it's like you're in a tunnel like like deep into the trenches like in a tunnel like like finding your path into hell or something it's in, it's outstanding I, I don't even know I, I don't know how you even deliver those but to me the whole time I'm listening to this song I'm like that mic is like in, in her small intestine somewhere. Because the 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 harsh vocals have such a gr like grittiness. It's kind of like a popping type thing. Like um, it, it's like I, I don't know how to fully explain it, but it ha it ha it's such, it's so deep and it has a crackling uh, f like um, feel to it to the, her vocals. And like she's falling apart as she's singing. Yeah, yeah. And you were saying inside, it's kind of like the stomach acid, you know. Dissolving the mic as you're singing exactly. through your stomach. Exactly. Yeah, that, I mean, uh, it's it's the weirdest way of describing it, but, but, I, it's, but that's it's, how it comes across. Way of describing it, man. But it's, that's how it feels to me. Fuck. Just, just blown away. Now, and the, and the guitar and everything. Okay, and, before you talk about the guitar. Uh, I just want to say one more thing about the vocals, and I want to go into the drums actually before we talk about the guitar because the guitar is important. I'll but talk I, about the bass, but, yeah. but but I, I want to go into into that. I just want to say one more thing about the vocals. As the song progressed, I was hoping that she would push it also to that more screaming range that she has, like when when she's ready to start taking heads and cutting dicks and all of that other good you shit. No dick talk. Oh fuck yeah! Sorry, my bad, my bad. I knew that I can keep this classy. So, anyways. I was hoping that as the song progresses, because as as the character as Lindsay Schoolcraft is is walking along the snow paths towards the the Lakeshore Boulevard there, um, I, I felt like the song kind of needed a little bit of a vocal change, and it needed to get from that deep, almost introspective approach to a more like extroverted anger. And the the way she does it really well is to push more into those screaming, like uh, almost crackling vocals that are a little bit more noticeable and it did that the, it actually finished off more on that tone and i was really happy with it because i felt like vocally the song kind of needed a little bit of a push uh because if the track was around three four minutes you could keep it consistently with one approach one style all the way through and it worked perfectly fine but when you start moving the song into like almost the six minute mark you need you need to show some progression you need to show some movement Otherwise, you're just fucking sinking in into this track. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but it, it, it starts to become a little bit predictable and you need you need something to galvanize the listener. And I was hoping that something would happen and something did happen vocally. Now, I wanna, before you talk about the guitars, and I'll give you the floor, I wanna talk about the drums. The drums on this track are outstanding. And I'll tell you why I feel like the drums are outstanding. Drums, bass combination, outstanding. You know, it's a powerhouse of those two there. Because it does two things. On one hand, it gives the song this volume, this thickness, this oomph, the same oomph you're getting from having the mic all the way into your lower intestine. You get it from both the bass. You're getting and... from both the bass and the drums together yeah. as one. It's like this powerhouse that just fucking is, is, it weighs a ton. But you know what you also get from the drums? The splash of the cymbals. So you're, you're getting th th these two complete opposite effects. One is drowning the song one is bringing the song down, drowning the track uh, in the bathtub, fucking drowning it. You know, like that 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 child you don't want to you don't want to have anymore. You just no, no personal experience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just watch a lot of TV. So, anyways, you're drowning it, and then on the other hand, you have this ability to s spread it out with the splashing of the symbols. It's it, it creates this dissonance. The two almost feel like are breaking apart. From each other, they're doing two completely different things. Yeah, one is one is sinking the track, and in. the other one is lifting it. 
Yeah, or or spreading it, it, opening it up. Yeah. But they they're working in parallel. The two are at the same time. Do, and then in between that you have the guitars. You have the guitars. So now you can. Talk. And I I think within this whole song, the instruments in general have a great con, uh, consistent um, way that they're they're brought across. You know, they 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 do switch. You know, it it is uh, a, like a six minute song, so they do have to switch. But dude. Some people have problems with like this type of music because they're like, oh, it's it's it, boring. It's boring. You know the same. It's the same riff over and over and over. And I think I've explained this in other songs that we've done. Um, that yeah, but dude, these these guitar the riffs they come up with are so good that it doesn't matter how long they can they can play it for for ten minutes and I'd still be entertained because it's just the way it sounds. It doesn't it, it doesn't have that sound that will get old. It doesn't matter how many times I listen to it, it will never get old. I did the Scott Hall move then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, know you're right. I'm, I'm, I'm with Dude, you 100. It will, it will never get old, and that's why every when it would switch, it would just switch into something else that I would want to listen to for another 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. So each time it would switch up. It was just something else that I was just so into, and that's what the guitars in this band and other bands, but mostly this band does. It, it, they're able to have uh, and, they, and they carry a lot of. Emotion, emotion in such and the sound that they that they push I don't, forward. I don't, I don't want to say simple, but they make it sound simple. But what it, okay. it gives you a it, it allows you to digest the song without effort. Exactly. Maybe that's the best way to describe. Because the the guitars and stuff, I, I feel like some of these riffs they, they are simple compare comparing them to other songs. It's not opeth. They're not opeth. Yeah, but s- somehow being simple, they're able to not only uh, give so much emotion. But also entertain you for a mm-hmm. long time. Yeah, and showing it, that you know you don't have to be over the top to entertain and uh, show a lot of emotion. You can always you know, this. It, it doesn't matter you know how out there you go. It just matters how much you put into it. There's well said. There's another band from that part of the world releasing a new record in February called Mass Worship. Shout out to Mass Worship. Their album is a downwards spiral. And what I mean by that is normally, and I feel like this record is going to be exactly the same. Uh, sometimes you have an album where there's a journey to it, or you feel like this is your starting point. Each song is a, a step that you're taking on that journey. And then when you get to the end of the album, you feel like, wow, like this was, it was nice. Like I started here, I finished there. The experience has been different. And I feel like there's been progression, right? Like most albums have that sort of um, tonality to it in terms of how they sound and how they're constructed. Mass Worship, and now I'm thinking this album is going down the same vein. There is a journey, but the journey is downwards. You're not moving forward. With every single track, you're getting deeper and deeper into this hole, and you're looking up, and the sound is just covering you. Yeah. And you're and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like with every single track, you're just getting deeper and deeper in this spiral of darkness. So I wanted to give them a shout out because they're from, they're 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 from the same uh, Scandinavian country. So I wanted to give them a shout out. They have a great album coming out in February, and I feel like Convent with this record, at least with this single. That's kind of the the feel that I'm starting to get. I'm not saying that this song is going to be the theme of the whole album is going to sound like this, but this song, you know, if there's a song that 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 brings the sun down and pulls it all the way down and that sun becomes darkness, this track really represents it well. Uh, grainy. Very grainy. Yeah, her voice. I mean, that's perfect. To describe yeah, and it's the name of the very, song, Grain. So very it's, grainy. It's very grainy. I love it. All right. Anything else you want to add? I love this band. Yeah. Absolutely love this band. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. Go check uh, these ladies out. Uh, pick up the album. Uh, do the pre-order. Wh- whatever, whatever the hell you have to do. Just support this band. They kick absolute ass. Absolutely. All right. Dicks. See ya. See ya.